Bafun, 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 eh. My fag, bafun, eh. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel once again. This is another stage I'm video. I love those, you know. It's just what I feel comfortable doing for now. So, anyways, today's video, as you guys have seen from the title, I'm from the thumbnail. Yes, yeah, I'm going to talk about my school. Yes, I don't know why I'm happy. I love my school. Although they can be very annoying, they can make you really, really frustrated. You know, but like, I really love my school. I do think if I had the chance to go back and choose, I would choose another school, if not Bakok University. You know, because for those of you who don't know, I'm a Bakok University student. I am so excited. <laughs> okay, I need to breathe. <coughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. It's still good to be back. Well, I think I just want to get one back from that. Um, so, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. It's so good to be filming this video right now. I know my friend is quiet. Like, it's such a miracle to get my house quiet at this point because my siblings are back. And it's a funny place, so my parents are around, so like my siblings are always playing games, so since the volume was the loudest, and we'll be hearing all the guns and the cars and everything. But thankfully, they went out to get something, so I am able to shoot this video. As you guys have seen from the time told you, this is a video I've wanted to shoot for a very long time. It's a video about my school. I feel like there is nothing like this on the internet. I have actually checked, I've not seen anything like this, and it's like it's kind of kind of like a misconception. I, I feel like at this point, some people already know these things I'm going to list out, but people still don't know. Because as at the point when I entered Babcock, okay, my sister was there, so I already knew about Babcock University. I knew the rules, I knew everything, you know. But like when I got there that day, I was like, some people were like so off point, like it was just like, okay, this is actually really bad. Because this could like it's actually bad of the school for not having put those regulations out there. Yes, these things are on the school page. But before you find it, hey <laughs> god, I actually went through the school page. I actually know that it's not like it should be something that is on the front page of the school. The rules are like it should be there. It should be something that okay. I don't have to struggle to find out about this information because it's like you're just it's like somehow like I don't want to get in trouble. It's just somehow like you're deceiving them to come. So they pay their school fees and then they just have to stay. You understand? Because most people are not comfortable with the life we live. Although People might say it's not comfortable, but I feel like it's still the best because if they give some people free reign to do whatever they wanted in that school, I bet you back up will be what it is right now. Like, you know how I have I'm nobody should come after me. You know how back up will be way worse than affair. I swear to you, back up students have the the um the potential to be very, very, very bad people, <laughs> not me. Minus me, I'm like, I'm just like a good person, so sorry. So yes, I actually made a note about the things I'm going to be talking, talking about because I don't want to leave anything out. I still feel like this list is not complete, but like I'm still going to, I'm going to touch on the major things that everybody that is going to come back up needs to know. The rest of the things you can find out like during your stay. Like the major things you need to know before you actually decide that oh I want to come to that school. So let's get into number one. <coughs> oh just give me a moment to catch my breath. Alright, so number one. Number one, I wrote down it's a Seven Day Adventist institution. I feel like people know this, but people don't actually know what Seven Day Adventist is. People actually make the misconception about that. Like, people actually think Seven Day Adventist and Baptist is the same thing. I mean, Baptist, it is definitely not the same thing. Now, a Seven Day Adventist institution or a Seven Day Adventist church is a church that worships that worships on a Saturday, like Saturday, the day oh everybody just stay at home. Like if you're not, it says if you're not an Adventist, the day you stay at home. Yes, that's Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday. That is the day that Seventh-day Adventists go to church, you know. And it's, it's the Sabbath day. And what they do is, on the Sabbath, obviously, if you're an Adventist, you know that Sabbath day, there's no going to work, there's no, there's no um, 
doing all those um, things you would normally do on a day. So, Bangkok is the same guy in Indonesia. So, every single person, Muslim, Christian, pagan, whatever God you worship, you know, like you have to go to church on the Saturday, even if you're an Adventist or not. And they give you a Bible. So, even if you say, Oh, I'm not Muslim, they give you a Bible in 100 levels. So, like, even if you say you're not a Christian, I mean, they give you a Bible. Everybody has that Bible. And sometimes some churches, not all, like it's not a compulsory thing, but some churches actually ask you to, oh, even if you don't read the Bible, just bring it to church. Because, um, yeah, another thing I, I forgot to write down, tell you what I remember this now. Church is compulsory. Church in Bangkok is compulsory, just like church is compulsory in Bowen, I think in Covenant also, it is compulsory. <laughs> I was about to curse. Church is compulsory, you have to go to church, you sign cards. I'll check my phone if I, have an, if I have a picture of the cards and I'll just insert it somewhere on the screen for you guys to see what the cards look like. Basically, it's like, it has rows and columns, um, weeks, um, days, and then every day. We go to church, we go to church proper four times a week. Is it four or five? Four times a week, yeah. We go to church on Wednesday evening, we go to church on Friday evening, which is the start of the Sabbath. On Saturday morning and on Sunday, sat, um, on Saturday evening, which is the end of the Sabbath. So the Sabbath starts on Friday evening, and so that means all ch all um, classes on Friday end by one, except any class that is fixed by lecturer, and then all shops close by five. So that's what happens, you know. Um, we also have something we call hall worship, but that's like based on your hall of residence. They normally arrange just once to happen on Tuesday evenings. So those are the times. So in total, we just we meet. Like we have a gathering where we pray, you know, five times a week. But four is church. You know, a church is compulsory. You need to have your signature passport and all those things. You worry when you get there, you know it's not actually that bad. Actually, you know, like if you go with your friends, like it's just easier. So the second thing, okay, I've already mentioned the second thing in past in the number of times we worship. Um, the third thing, the third thing is that. We do not cook in Bangkok University. There is no cooking of any kind. You are not allowed to cook. If you are found cooking, you can get suspended, you know, depending on how serious it is. So no cooking at all is allowed in Bangkok University. So therefore, we have a school cafeteria where we go and get our meals. Now, Bangkok University is a school where there is no cooking allowed. There was a point when there was cooking allowed, but I think people you know, sometimes we don't have lots of things, people like misuse those opportunities they have and start doing rubbish and all that. So they stop allowing people to cook right as I was entering into Bangkok in 2016. Like, okay, they stop allowing people to cook way before that, but they allowed people to meet in domain with microwaves and oh, you had microwaves in your hostel. But people still misusing that also. So, right as I was entering Bangkok in 2016, guess what they did? They took away all the microwaves and I couldn't make it on me. Like there was a time my grandma came to visit me and she like brought a whole thing because she knew my sister used to cook. And then I was like, thank you sister. And like, I just felt like crying, like in Dubi. In Dubi is life. Um so yeah. Anyways, Bangkok is a no cooking school, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to pay for feeding in our school because I know most of you have already paid if you have paid. If you haven't paid, um I would advise to you. Personally, I was on lunch and supper from 100 level up to 300 level and I actually didn't regret it because definitely if you want to eat breakfast then the thing is there are a lot of people that pay for breakfast lunch and supper and they don't go for the breakfast <laughs> so you will always definitely see tickets to go for breakfast so like just before lunch and supper save your parents money because if you have the tickets it's like you might not want to go you understand what I'm saying so like it's easy for it when you feel you really feel like you want to eat there's no way you will not find tickets to go so yeah that's one of the things um, the next thing, okay, yeah, and also they sell food around, so you will definitely get food if you don't even want to go to the cafeteria. But I know people that don't even go to the cafeteria at all, although I advise you to go because, like, it's not wise to waste your parents' money or something. Right, so the fourth thing, the fourth thing I wrote down is dress code. Bafok University has a very strict dress code, like, this is things that you just don't want to ever break because it's going to just give you negative demerit points, you know. Well, demerits are negative. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so you're going to get demerits, and if you get certain amounts of demerits, you're going to be, you are going to be forced to um, face the whole panel. And then, if the whole panel feels like you should go to the dean's panel, like to the um, go to panel, like the main panel, panel, 
then bro there is no way you're going on suspension because i don't know how you're to explain it so i'm just going to list down some things that you should not bring and you should not even think of carrying inside your load like if they should see it like nah that's it it's going home is that they see it or if your parents are there then you can tell them that oh yes gang then you want to see your parents because your parents are taking home so they don't want any jeans nothing jean no jean singlets <laughs> no jean tops no jean jackets, jean skirts, jean trousers, nothing like that, even for boys and girls. Um, the second thing is no mini skirts. Your skirts are supposed to be three inches below your knee. Three inches below your knee, yes. Um, they have a thing for bodycon skirts. I think you can sneak in some black ones, but like nothing too tight. No, no, no none of these um, very tight sashamu skirts, no. Um, another thing is, um, another thing is, no spaghetti strap shirts, no sleeveless clothes, no off shoulders. You know, if you're wearing trousers, make sure your trousers are not off shoulders. Don't carry any sleeveless. Um, yes, what else? What else? What else? Girls, basically, you can't wear any trousers except it's your workout gear. So, yeah, that's it. You can get, we can bring workout gear, bring your sneakers. There's a gym, there are gyms in. Um, the stadium, you have one in the hospital, and then there's another one in the guest house. So you just have to pay your subscription, your membership fee, and then you can go to the gym. Then I'm going to talk about the academic, uh, uh, I can't talk. academic strengths of Vassar University. That's the sixth thing I wrote down academic strengths. Um, yeah, I know most of you guys must have heard the rules and regulations I've mentioned so far, and you're like, well, it's not worth it. And all that. I'm going to talk for my department in particular. I guess until I'm wearing Alpha 7, Alpha 19, sorry, 19, 19, 19 on my shirt. That's my department. I'm an accounting student. Went to my final year. And um, I'm going to actually tell you guys the truth. Like, the rules and regulations of Bapok can be very, very bad, very, very tough. But I assure you that Bapok has the best facilities any school in Nigeria could ever give you. Yes, I'm actually saying that. I am actually saying that, and I actually believe that when I say it. Yes, um, they're still developing in some areas, but I assure you that my is actually the best because um, for the medical student, I'm not a medical student, but I know that for the medical student, they actually do the theory part and they do the practical. They have these instruments. They have this um, this um, this all these their appliances. This their medical machine. What's, I don't know what they call them, but they have all these things. They actually do the practical. They do these things. I know that at a particular level in medicine, they are allowed to like be in the hospitals. The nurses are actually in the hospital. So you actually do hands-on. They have a teaching hospital boot. We call it boot. Bapak University teaching hospital. Like, yes, so Bapak is... That's another thing I'm talking about. Let me just write it down. Sorry. Okay, so yes. Bapak is actually the best. For accounting now, that is where I can actually defend and tell you that Bapak has the best accounting program in the whole of Nigeria. Argue with your grandfather, you can come, we will argue with, and I will still win, I will still beat your hands down. Bapok has the best accounting pro program. I'm sure some of you have been watching this, they have been laughing like, ah, man, this is the only accounting. <laughs> I'll be cheap. But it's like, it's the truth. Like, it's the truth. Like, Bapok has the best accounting program because from your own life, why I say this is because, you know, accounting, you don't, you can't just practice accounting and then just end the day. You can just be a BS in accounting or your HMD and whatever in accounting. If you like, you're done. No, you're going to have to actually get chattered. And what Bapok does is from your 100 level second semester, from your 100 level first semester, they start giving you talks about these programs and all this ACC um, icon, you know. They start telling you about it, they start getting you enlightened about it so you can speak to your friends about it. Bapok starts 100 level students from this program, ATS 1 level, from 100 level second semester. So I can assure you, I know people, I have friends, even if, yes, I've had setbacks, I'm not going to be one people that are made to graduate already chattered. I know people that have graduated and they're already chattered. Like you are already an icon degree holder before you even get your BSc. Like that's just mad. Like I know people that have graduated just now and then, like those people who graduated like that, they've already got things chattered before they even did convocation. That's just, that's just something amazing. That is what, that is a benefit, definitely a benefit. Because I don't know any other school that does it. I don't know any other school that does that. It's just about that I know. I don't know if your school does it. If you want to argue with me, just let me know your school. I'm going to get, you know, information in Nigeria. So like Bapak is like the best accounting program. They have qualified lecturers, lecturers that hold BSCs, PhDs, master's degrees. 
you know, in different areas of accounting, you know. So yes, um, that's like we have an academic strength. The classroom in BBS, which was the classroom in the middle of our home, are very conducive, very, very conducive, very spacious, you know. Everybody gets to be comfortable while learning, you know. There's Wi-Fi in the study, in the student buildings. There is Wi-Fi in the library, you know. So yes, actually, because, and they have a very huge library that has a lot of books. Like you can go there like, and do look for books, and you see very, very good books that help you with your school and your assignments and everything. Research, you know. They have a very um, large, um, large. Um, um, large. I don't know what I'm, I'm looking for, but I know the word I'm looking for. It. Does that happen to you guys? But they just they, they shall have a large collection. That's not what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for collection collection of journals, you know, that help you in your project work and all that. So yeah, the backup is actually very good. Um, the next thing, okay, yeah, I specified the characters number seven. Then your hair code. Yes, I think I'm a naturalist, uh, you know, looking for you through my afro. If you guys like my hairstyle, I did a video on how I got this. It was really hard, actually, because I didn't use any product on it. But if you want to see how I did this, just go and check my previous video and you'll see how I did it. Um, so, hair code. Now, girls, all your hair has to be shoulder length. I'm going to insert some pictures, like, your, like let me see, basically it has to be bob, <laughs> because that's like the only thing I can even explain, the hair has to be bob, um, I'm going to insert some pictures of hair that is not allowed and hair that is allowed, but yes, you can do braids, but your braids have to be, it doesn't have to necessarily be bob, you can do feathers, you can do maybe braids that you reach, let me say, bra length, but then you have to be packing it up every day, you can't drop it down, you understand, you can make long hair and then pack it in a donut and pack it, you must stack it though, because hey god, oh god, this is the problem that many girls have with back up because they always feel like, oh don't worry, when they make the hair, they cannot cut it. Ah, ah, I feel like I, I pity people because soon as I say, nah, you can't touch my hair. At the end of the day, they will cut the hair, this is all. <laughs> and if you are lucky enough, they don't cut the natural hair. But if you have natural hair long, that is long, or if you have natural hair that is long, then maybe you can show them and they can allow you because your natural hair is done but they can't definitely tell you to don't cut your natural hair but I just stay compliant my advice to you guys is just to stay compliant um I just want to write something I just got to talk about something um hair code yes so your hair has to be shoulder length shoulder length so you can keep your afro your hair can't have any decorations at all you can't have all those beads you can't have all those um, clips all those things no decorations you can't have colored hair your hair can either, it only be black or natural color so it's either if you want to braid you can use color one you can use color two or color 33 those are the three colors you can use so those are the only colors that, colors that are allowed and then if you are an albino and you have um blonde hair because i know most of them have this kind of like kind of like blonde hair then you can use actually you can, <coughs> you can use blonde attachment That's about the hair code. Um, the next thing is coffee. Over coffee versus coffee. Um, the time when you should be in your hostel is 9.30. Between 9.30 and 9.45. So like they start telling you to go inside by 9.30. So later by 9.45, all the hostel doors will be locked. If you're found outside, you'll be demerited. And then you would have to face whole panel. Um, so the coffee time is 9.30 to 9.45. So you can be outside doing everything. The cafeteria closes. Yeah, I forgot to mention the cafeteria closes by 9 p.m. every day. Um, okay, no, it's like this breakfast doors open 6 30, 6 30 to 10, I think. Yeah, 6 30 to 10, that's breakfast time. Then the doors will be locked by 10. Lunch starts by 11 30, depending. Depending on Sabbath is 11 30, but on normal days is 12. So lunch is 12 to 3. The doors will close by three, and then dinner starts by five and closes by nine. On days of worship, dinner starts by five, closes by six thirty, opens again by seven thirty, and then closes by nine. So church most okay. I forgot to also mention that church in the evening starts by six thirty. Card, card signing starts by six, ends by six thirty, and then the worship proper starts by 6 30 closes by 7 30 depending on your church for churches close before 6 30 some churches also close after 6 30 <laughs> so that evening worship then okay so morning worship morning worship in Bangkok that's sabbath worship starts and um, signing 
in the hostel starts by 8 30 ends by 9. Yeah, I think I think that's it. 8 30 ends by 9. Church signing starts by 8 45 ends by 9 15. So yeah, that's about money worships. The next thing I have is rules. I wrote rules and stuff. <laughs> um, I can't remember any rules. Um, basically, in the dress code, um, going to church early, you know, signing your card. Um, what else? Coffee. I've talked on those ones. Um, what well, other rules? No use of drugs, you know. No, in, um, no, no cases of insubordination. I know you guys know what insubordination is. No, you shouldn't. Like, see, even if you have a problem with like a portal or anything. It's better for you to not talk to the person than for you to challenge the person because the person can now go and take it as you but um engaging in some nation which is wrong. So I don't know what I mean about any other rules. If I remember any other thing, I'll put down the the description below.